Presenting a case to a jury in a manner so that they can visualize a crime scene can be a daunting task. It becomes more difficult when the crime scene covers a large area, such as with a road, large field, or multiple houses are involved. Historically, prosecutors have used what is referred to as a jury view when it becomes necessary to show a jury a crime scene that is overly complex or large. For example, when a jury would have a hard time visualizing what is being described because of the complexity of the scene or because of the unusual nature of the crime in connection with the scene. A jury view is where the jury, defendant, judge, and attorneys all go to the crime scene together. Jury views have their own unique problems. In the recent high-profile Aaron Hernandez case, which utilized a jury view on a public road, members of the public drove by yelling obscenities and chanting, free Aaron, as the jury viewed the scene. Normally, trials take place in a sterile and controlled environment. Taking the jury out of that type of environment and placing them in an uncontrolled public area has the real potential of obtaining the jury and affecting both the defendants and the people's right to a fair trial. Given this challenge, prosecutors seeking to ensure justice through a fair trial for both sides have developed a method of creating a virtual crime scene with the use of drones. This technique allows the jury to be immersed into the crime scene without leaving the controlled and sterile courtroom environment. Using drones, we are able to create seamless video from eye level to the sky and then back to eye level. Prosecutors have been successful using various techniques of capturing and recreating for the viewer the feeling of being at the crime scene at the time the crime was committed. This is important because it allows the jury to get a glimpse of the crime scene, including the size and extent of the scene, as well as the police response and often the chaotic nature of the scene. Traditional methods of videoing and photographing crime scenes pale in comparison to the unique perspective that a drone video prepared in this manner is able to provide. Courts have been receptive to allowing this type of evidence in lieu of a jury view because it is relevant and accurately depicts the crime scene to the jury. Traditionally, law enforcement responding to a crime scene took numerous and detailed still photographs. Those photographs were then presented to the jury in an effort to assist them in understanding the crime scene and the evidence located. Usually, this was accomplished through the testimony of a law enforcement officer explaining how the photograph accurately depicted the evidence found at the scene. However, this method required the jury to imagine these numerous photographs fit together to create the larger scene. This often resulted in a disjointed and unclear depiction of the crime scene. Using drone technology, we have discovered an efficient and beneficial way to show the jury all aspects of a crime scene in a more cohesive manner. Using drones to capture still photographs and video from many different angles, law enforcement is now able to convey to the jury the full picture of the crime scene. We can show video from both eye level and from above, showing the vast area and complexity of the crime scene in one cohesive presentation. In the past, this type of presentation was created using helicopters or fixed-wing airplanes. However, the cost and danger of those methods made it undesirable. Now, using drone technology, we can give the jury a unique experience and allow them to view the scene and evidence as though they were present at the crime scene during the investigation, but in an efficient and cost-effective way.